All righty. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today so that we can talk about the role that you're going to play for the Day of Giving. My name is Lydia Ward, and I'm a member of the Partner Success Team at Give Campus, which is the technology software partner that Finley is using to support this campaign. Just a quick introduction to myself and my company. Uh, before I started at Give Campus, I worked in the advancement office at my alma mater. And since then, I've served as a volunteer on Give Campus campaigns, both for my high school and my college. So I've been able to go through the advocate experience on Give Campus from your perspective. And it was through those experiences that I came to realize how important being involved with my school in this special way really is. And I sought out to get involved with Give Campus because I really believe in what our company is all about. The company came to be a few years ago when our founders, Kestrel and Mike, realized that they weren't giving back to their university like they should have been. They were about 10 years out of school and they had the means to give and their school was regularly asking them to make donations, but the school had never asked them to get involved in the right way. So Kestrel and Mike decided to build out Give Campus with the goal of making giving back to your school a social activity. We harness the power of school communities like yours to make giving and getting involved more meaningful because our platform helps connect donors to their peers and the causes within their school that they care the most about. And that's where you come in. Your work as advocates for this campaign is so important and your involvement really is the secret ingredient that makes campaigns on Give Campus so successful. So today we're going to walk through all of the ways that you can make a difference at Finley on Give Campus, whether that's staking a matching or challenge gift, creating a personal plea, or sharing the campaign link. Please do stop me at any point if you have any questions, but I'm just going to go ahead and dive into our agenda. The two most important things to know about the advocacy features on Give Campus are that one, they're designed to celebrate actions that inspire other people to support the campaign. In order to become an advocate, you have to take active steps to encourage your community members to get involved. The second most important thing to know is that you need to be logged into a Give Campus user account while performing these advocate activities to take your support to the maps. So naturally, the first thing that you'll want to do if you don't already have one is create a Give Campus user account. From any page on the Give Campus website, you can just click up here in the upper right hand corner on the sign up button and fill out this basic information. You can also choose to sync your account up to Facebook if you'd like. You should know though that your friends and family members don't need to create an account when they make their gifts. You can give not logged into a user account, but because you're the official volunteers for this initiative, you really do need to go ahead and create those accounts. And the benefit of that, which I'll get into a little bit more later, is that all of your hard work advocating for the campaign is going to be front, uh, showcased front and center on this page, but only if you sign up for that user account and do your volunteering activities while logged in to Give Campus. The next step to volunteering for this campaign is to consider your own gift. So of course you can give to the initiative as a regular donor, plain and simple, via this Give Now button right here. You just fill out this uh, basic information and proceed to checkout. I really encourage all of you to take a look at this so that you can share with others just how easy it is. But because you are the official advocates for this initiative, I wanna show you a way of giving that can take your gifts the extra mile because uh, others will be inspired to give. And that's via our matching and challenge gift features. A matching gift means that you'll give a number of dollars, either per donor or dollar amount given, up to a specific maximum amount. And what I really love about matching gifts and the way that I think they can be the most powerful is by restricting the match meaning that you'll set it to only apply to donors from an affiliation, a class year, a list of friends by email address, or even a specific area of passion. So for example, last year on Giving Tuesday, I knew that I wanted to give $50 to my college and that I wanted to make my gift have the biggest possible impact. I made a matching gift in which I gave $10 per donor from my class year up to five donors. 
Again, I had already planned to give $50. I wasn't giving any more than I intended to. And of course, I'm in no way a major donor with that gift. But by making a matching gift, I was able to encourage my peers to give with a little more urgency and frankly, just a little bit more fun. If you make a challenge gift, you're saying that you'll make a gift only if the campaign gets another specific number of donors or dollars before a specific date or by the campaign end. If the complete terms of your challenge aren't met by the deadline of the campaign, you won't actually make a gift. They're all or nothing. So just because they're much higher stakes than a matching gift, challenges can't be restricted to specific groups of donors like matches can. Challenge gifts are community wide. So challenge gifts are great for when you really want to inspire the feeling of the stakes being raised, but matching gifts are the right option for when you want to inspire specific groups of people to give. A best practice for campaign advocates is to go ahead and offer your matches and challenges as soon as possible. And the reasoning behind that is that when everyone else heads to the campaign page to see what it's all about, the day of the giving day, everyone's gonna feel much more motivated to give and get involved if they can see that their peers have already started to get involved and if they know that their contribution has the opportunity to go even further because one of their peers has offered a match or challenge. Another way to become an advocate for this campaign is to tell a story of why you're supporting the campaign with a personal plea. A personal plea is a short video in which you tell the community why you're excited about the giving day. Personal pleas don't need to be fancy at all to be effective. We really recommend just taking a selfie video on your phone for these. You can think of personal pleas as Give Campus's answer to the ice bucket challenge from a few years back, but instead of dumping ice water on your head, you're just asking your friends to support the campaign. The only rules for personal pleas are to be yourself and tell a compelling story, but don't be afraid to get creative or bring in your kids or pets or wear your Finley Pride swag. But once you've made that video, you'll just want to log into your Give Canvas user account, visit the Campaign Advocates tab, and click on this Create Your Personal Plea button to upload it. Once it's been uploaded, a member of the Give Campus team will review it for quality and content, and once we've approved it, a button that says watch personal plea will appear next to your name on the advocates tab so anyone who visits the campaign page can check out your message. Personal pleas are another advocate activity that you'll definitely want to go ahead and complete as soon as possible and again the thinking there is that when the first wave of folks visits the campaign page the day of imagine how inspired they'll be to give if they can see that not only is the institution the school asking them to make a gift but their peers are on the campaign page asking them to make a gift as well. I'd absolutely encourage you to just go ahead and take the plunge and make a personal plea as soon as we get off the line today. The last way to get involved as an advocate is to spread the word about the campaign using the built-in social sharing buttons. So we have these buttons built in underneath the campaign video and right here on the Advocates tab for easy sharing on Facebook, Twitter, email, and text. So when I click on that Facebook button, a post pops up for me already with the campaign link built in, uh, the campaign hashtag included so that I can write my call to action message and then share on my newsfeed, on my Facebook story, on my Facebook, uh, on a friend's timeline on Facebook, in a group, in an event, or even over private direct message on Facebook. When I click on the tweet button, it's the same idea. A tweet is already written for me. I can, of course, customize that language, but most importantly, that campaign link is already built in, so I can just tweet that out to my timeline. When I click on the email button, a link to the campaign that's unique to me is automatically copied on my clipboard. So I can open up an email and paste that link into a message with a note about why I want the recipient to support the campaign. 
An important thing to know is that Give Campus campaigns are fully mobile optimized, meaning that anything I can do for this campaign as an advocate on my computer, like I'm doing right now, I can also do for my smartphone. So if I was on my iPhone right now, I could open up Safari, head to givecampus.com, log into my user account, visit the campaign page, and hit the text button. Again, that link that's unique to me as an advocate would be copied onto my clipboard and I would just open up iMessage and paste that link into a text to my friends. And for all of the sharing features, we found time and time again that advocate outreach that's more personalized generates the most support for a campaign. So be sure to write those calls to action, tell your own story, tag people, and do both community-wide outreach on a social media feed, but also direct peer-to-peer -peer sharing over email, text, and private message. Sharing multiple times throughout the timeline of the campaign is a great idea too. Volunteers often like to share their link with messages about the campaign's progress at different milestones or with messages to say thank you to their friends who have already gotten involved because of their advocacy. And what's so exciting about our sharing features is that when you share out the campaign link via these special sharing buttons while logged into your Give Campus user account, we're able to track your impact and then celebrate that data next to your name on the Advocates tab on the campaign page. You can see right here that folks have already started sharing. Uh, Stacy, for example, shared the campaign link and generated eight clicks. Uh, and if one of those clicks has resulted in a gift, the number of donors and dollars she generated would also be listed next to her name. So as you can see, using the sharing buttons not only helps to get the word out to show your community about how much you care about the campaign and what a dedicated volunteer you are, but it also recognizes your hard work getting involved. We've also found that the advocates tracking functionality helps to create a little bit of healthy competition amongst volunteers. We always hear stories about people who say that they wanna be the top uh, click generating advocate or generate more gifts from their link than their friends do. And this feature can make that happen by sharing using these buttons while logged into your Give Campus user account. So today we've gone through all of the steps to becoming an advocate for a campaign on Give Campus. Again, those steps are to first make your Give Campus account and get logged in and then to offer a matching or challenge gift, uh, upload a personal plea video, or share the campaign link via the built-in sharing buttons. I just wanna thank everyone for your time today and thank you again for supporting Finley and their day of giving. It really is the work from advocates like you that makes the difference on campaigns on Give Campus. So thank you for taking this time to learn about these tools and thank you in advance for putting them to use. Uh, I know the Finlay team will be happy to answer any questions you may think of after we get off the line today, but thank you again and I'll be keeping an eye on this campaign to see all of the great work you guys do.